All right. Uh, this requires, I think, a little bit of background. So Jeremy Hambly is the quartering, and Ian Miles Chong is a Malaysian guy who's one of the ugliest men ever. And I don't want to. I don't want to get on my my pro whammon thing, but Ian Miles Chong loves to like retweet white women on his his ex account and say like, "Look at this white woman. She's not behaving in a way I approve of." Don't you guys agree? And it's like, bro, you look like a fucking goblin. You look like you know Nick Fuentes is making jokes about like biological waste you look like a mistake you look like something fucked up like the genes and the sperm and eggs zippered one one peg off and now everything's a little bit misaligned it's like a quasimodo hunch, hunchback of notre dame look just really fucked up looking mongoloid and you're gonna sit there and say pretty white woman you shouldn't dance this way i disagree with that like who the fuck asked you you're in malaysia why do you why do you talk about american politics shut up nobody cares why, why do you think anyone, why does anyone care what you have to say when you look like a fuck, like a, like a, like a zipper head, like put together wrong, like a, someone buttoned you down like a, like a dress, you know, like a button down suit or a overshirt, just like one, one notch off. And now everything's like misaligned. Like you're going to sit there and you're going to cast judgment on how attractive people look. Like, honestly, who the fuck asked you? <laughs> How do, you, how do you even have the friggin' audacity <laughs> to sit there and cast aspersions and judgment on people um, like you're not, uh, you know, completely and totally like a, like a genetic dead end? <laughs> can you even can you even breed? You look like you're sterile, <laughs> like like you're a mix between two different species that can't procreate on its own because your your genetics are all fucked up. <laughs> Anyways, Ian Miles Chong was in Internet Blood Sports for a while. Um, and, uh, you know, he, he's like an alumni from the school of, like, yelling at retards on the Internet and being yelled at by retards on the Internet uh, class. And for some reason, he was able to just start, like, making super milk or lukewarm milk toast takes on, on Twitter and was able to, like, I think he probably pioneered that type of content aggregation on Twitter where it's just like, what do you guys think about this? Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? And just, like, taking other – because what he does is he t- – um because I've called this out before. He will take information from actual journalists who do things that are, are good for, like, calling out trannies and shit such as with uh, Redux, just take shit from their site, repost it himself, and then get things completely wrong. And he does this all the fucking time. Um, and that's probably because he feels entitled to that work because he used to work with people from Redux. And now he's just like, yeah, sure, I can. I was your boss before. I guess I can just take your shit and repost it. It's still fucking mine, even though you don't work for me. That's the, that's the entitled... Uh, mongoloid genetic extra chromosome shit happening in his brain. He has like a like a glob of gray matter in his in his uh, skull that just injects retard juice straight into his fucking cortex. And yeah, sure, you can just do whatever you want, whatever. <laughs> Nobody's gonna fly to Malaysia with a baseball bat and break your fingers for doing it. So why not just go ahead and do it? Um, But he, yeah, he like perfected that, and then he became like Elon Musk's golden boy for a little bit. Like him and Quartering were both like Elon's pets for a while on on Twitter. Uh, now they're fighting. So um, I guess Ian Miles Chong. Oh, how many followers? I know Hambly has like three hundred thousand. I'm curious what what big old Chungus got over there. Nine hundred. He's like three times as big as Hambly. And um, for whatever reason, I guess Hambly like threatens him. Like they're both bu- like yipping at each other because they want to be Elon's favorite, like pet. And it- Chungus feels threatened because Hambly is like he's white. We'll give him that. He's white and he's losing weight and he appears to be doing well for himself. I'll be nice. He follows me on Twitter. So I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose that follow. He's my biggest follower. <laughs> I'm easily, I'm easily placated, Chad. I can be bought with a mere follow these days. I've compromised my integrity. I apologize. <laughs> Chungus doesn't follow me, so the the safety's off with him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> so Ian decides, I'm going to take shots at Hamlet. I tried figuring out where this came from. I have no idea. I have no idea why he decided to do this. I will admit there is potentially something that quartering said or one of his people said that chung is in like and i'm only seeing the reaction to it um but his reaction is just like insane he comes out and he says reload these real quick uh, uh. these are the exact same they are the exact same fucking thing i tried very very hard to not download the exact same fucking thing twice and i fucked up uh, I have them on my computer, so I'll put them up. But he says, I don't like to do this, but <laughs> I don't like drama. I only started my career uh, on Ethan Ralph stream yelling at people. But he says, um, I don't like to do this, but the drama slash gossip YouTuber Jeremy the Quartering Hambly has been credibly accused of sympathizing with pedophiles and groomers. In the video I highlighted, Hamley gave advice to pedophiles on how to delete their illegal material. Speaking on a po video podcast, Hamley spoke out about the age of consent and how he doesn't like, doesn't think child grooming by 40 year old adults is a problem as long as you get that pussy. Uh, so let's listen to this. I'm not listening to this. I want to have a genuine reaction. Maybe I'm going to hard disavow my, uh, my biggest fan on Twitter uh, live on air. Let's see. What is the age of consent? What, what should it be in your mind? Go on record. <laughs> I support whatever law is in place in your current residence. You know, I, a, it's a cop out, isn't it? Let's get a real case. Asia Argento, right? Asia Argento. You guys, bearing you familiar with this? She quote uh, allegedly groomed a seven, uh, fourteen year old boy and then fucked him when he was seventeen. Now, how, how old she? She was like f almost forty at that point. Oh, fuck. Well, she had also worked with him when he was like an eight-year-old or a nine-year-old boy in some Hollywood set. Why are we focused on that? Well, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to take a long, I'm trying to, it's a really long uh, example of how I feel. Well, it's hard to say like every 17-year-old boy is created equal, right? <laughs> but I'm saying like Sorry. Asia Argento was uh, in her 40s. She fucked a 17-year-old. And the age of consent in California is 18. So she technically broke the law. Do I view her as a fucking disgusting child predator? No, I don't. That will no, but but that... In all seriousness, though, if, if she... That's, that's just something that... I think that that's like... A, there's like an entire episode of South Park about this that everyone knows about, the nice episode. Like for whatever reason, when we hear... Well, I say we, but a lot of people, when they hear... So like um uh like a teacher like a forty year old teacher and she's an actress apparently so I guess she's probably you know attractive even at forty, um, like conventionally attractive with Botox and everything looks young, like everyone's like oh you know, well that's nice because that's you know that's seventeen year as long as he smashes that box that's what we're looking for, um, I think that's just like a like a thing that people think, because. I guess people don't care. Like I, they assume, um, with pretty good reason. I would, I would wager, that as long as it's like a guy doing it, then it doesn't matter. But that's obviously not the case, especially when she knows him from like being eight years old. If it was, if it, imagine if the roles were reversed. If it was a forty-year-old man fucking a seventeen-year-old that he had known since he was eight. Unless you're Dick Masterson, Dax Herrera, co-host of the Biggest Problem Universe, um, you'd probably think that's repellent. Uh, I want to continue this. If she groomed him from the... This is an old clip, and I think that the perspectives on this have matured. He probably would not give this answer these days. This looks like, a, like you know, five years ago. But we'll see. From the time he was 14. I, I think it is a pretty, pretty disgusting crime. If she was 40, I can understand if she was 19 and he was 17. I mean, that's that happens. But um, 40, and she's, she's, yeah. she's groomed him since 14. Now, that's fucked. Chastised but isn't that four. fucked up, right? Like, if I'm 16... And let's say a 24-year-old woman, you know, I'm at some, like, uh, a music festival, and some 24-year-old fucks me. It's really hard for me to view that as, like, a predatory situation. I'm like, yeah. yeah it's... In the Asa Argento situation, she absolutely knew how old he was. He abs she... And then, like, 
I mean, oh no, no, I wasn't talking about. I'm, I was talking about your example scenario of a twenty-four oh, yeah, yeah. year old chick, yeah, fucking sixteen. Yeah. If she knew, if she knew that, that that guy was sixteen, yeah, that's fucked. She's done. The, she's committed a crime. But if you're sixteen and you get that pussy, do you feel like a victim? <laughs> Dude, you know what this is? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a limb here. I'm sure that he's probably had more success now because he's so rich and well off. I'm gonna say that this is Hambly, completely pussyless. Trying to, trying and failing to empathize with a young man who's taken advantage of. He just can't do it. He can't put himself in that frame of mind because he's like, if I was 17 and a hot MILF wanted me to smash her box, I'd be like, hell yeah, I'm going to smash that box. Like, he's just like a virgin at this point in time in his life. And he just has, he just can't do it. He can't place himself in that position where he sees that, that dynamic as exploitative. You know what I mean? That's, that's my take on that. I bet you, I'm, I'm, I bet you I'm not wrong either. Just the way he says that is like, yeah, that's right. Um, so in response to this, the quartering says, Ian Miles Chong, employee of uh, As Relevant and Rebel News Online, is now threatening to get me, trying to threaten me out of suing him for his libelous statement. I love it. Keep talking, dude. The results of this is that you can see right here, Chungus is verified and he has a Rebel News brand badge. Rebel News pays Twitter $2,000 a month for branding like this, and it's gone. Yoink! just disappeared so it looks like hamley talked to the manager about about this and they have fired him or uh distanced themselves from him just now and normally i would say that that's kind of bitch made to complain to someone's employer like that but i think if they're calling you a pedophile and randomly trying to destroy your life and they're like, this is all like on the same side. Like you have these these counterculture critics talking about different things that could easily like hash shit out like like this and as adults and for some reason aren't. I can kind of understand his perspective there. Um but then again, I don't know. Getting people fired is always fucking gay. Um I think that this is after. No, okay, so this is the on the third. I got this backwards. He says, I'm retracting my previous statement to repost it with an amendment about Jeremy Hambly, who some allege is a pedophile enabler for advising pedophiles on how to get rid of their illicit materials discovered by tech experts. So that clears things up. And then he says um, that he is crowdfunding a lawsuit and going to file it next week. Uh, so this is the clip. This it's more of a public service announcement than anything else. Uh, at the office this week, we had a situation where one of the techs came across some pictures on a customer's computer that were of the um, child pornography variety. I, I don't really know if there's any tech way to put this. This is super old. This is super old. That, But um, the customer was reported. He's streaming on Twitch. This is so old, he's not like automatically permanently banned from Twitch. And uh, subsequently arrested, I believe, uh, is last that I heard. Uh, and is even more serious. However, I've never known a tech in my life um, that ever took anything other than like videos or music off computers. But the po the point of this this video is just to remind people that you know, as techs, um, we read your emails, so to speak. Um, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying it happens. Um, so if you have things that you don't want computer text to Dude. see. I want this guy's face smashed into a fucking table. Look at him. Look at that fucking face. Look at this guy. What? What? What emotion is he trying to convey? He looks like he just ate shit, and he's being forced at gunpoint to swallow it. You know, you should delete them or rename them that you don't want text to look at. Um, you know, maybe change the folder name when you take it in if you can, or. You know, I, I'm not condoning it. I, I don't think it's it's necessarily right. I believe it's an invasion of privacy, but uh, and that's really why you know I don't really do it anymore. But I certainly did back in the day, and you know, I, I there's not a tech in the business out there right now right now that doesn't do it. it. Happens. So if you have these sorts of things, remember that computer techs do uh, look at other things on your computer. It's it's sometimes it's by accident. Sometimes it's by curiosity, but just keep in mind when you take things in uh, or boredom to get your you know you take your computer in and get it fixed. Uh, people look around on it, and uh, you shouldn't make it really easy for stretch. people to find things.
this is a stretch I and mean, if like that first clip sounds a lot worse than this one like this one is more recent and it's worse this one is just him saying be mindful that when you are um when you are taking your computer into a repair place that uh, people can and will access your files i've heard like i've heard horror stories of texts like pulling nudes off women's computers that they bring into their their shops and shit like that's not bad advice at all um that's stupid to even to to even include and then try to extrapolate that he's teaching people how to hide child pornography that's fucking retarded thank you for watching this clip by colonel J. this is the king of bold here remember to like and subscribe juice